Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Usually I keep my nail videos ASMR related, but I figured I would do a little talking in today's video. I'm going to be unboxing and swatching this new set of Model 1's nail polish I just got in. Uh, it's called Halo Fall. I think that's what it's called. I'm bad at pronouncing. If you've seen me before, words are not my strong point. But yeah, let's get into unboxing this right now. And I should disclose that I did get this for free through a coupon code, not directly through Model 1's. I just had a coupon code for it. Um, Apparently opening boxes is not my strong point either. And also ignore my naked nails. I am in between sets at the moment. I just took off my Pride Month set and I'm trying to decide what to do for my next set. So that's why they're all naked. And of course, and in the Model 1's kit, you always get the instructions here and always the same color theme throughout. Just pretty much basic, you know, application, removing instructions, pretty good. And they're also good with their customer service, so they usually include that on here as well. So this set comes with six colors. Um, Model 1s tends to not name their colors. They're usually just numbered. Let me see if I can find the number on this one here. Yeah, so the numbers are just on the bottom. Come on, camera. This one is just MO0595 and they are labeled that way. So like I said, there are six of them in this set. Let's just pop them out real quick. And these are very fall related colors just from what I'm seeing. Like they have a little window here. You can see what their colors are gonna be. And it looks very fall, which I am a fan of. That is definitely my favorite time of year. I think that is the best time for colors and all that. So I'm excited to see what these are going to look like and if they're going to be, you know, one coat and done or if we're going to need two or three coats for these. But usually with the darker colors, they tend to just be one coat. When I do swatch sticks, I don't do any base coat on them at all. I just go straight in with the color, but then I do top them off with a top coat so that they don't get uh, chipped or damaged while they're sitting. So. Let's get into swatching this first color here. And this one is, you can see that, M00596. And it is a, looks to be like a cranberry red. I don't know if that's coming across on the camera very well, but it looks really pretty. Oh yeah. Okay, that is definitely like a December red. <laughs> so let's see how this swatches out here. Ooh, I like that. It almost has like, I want to say a purple undertone a little bit because it doesn't come across as true red. Maybe a pink undertone? I don't know. It's hard to see. Also, my lights don't help at all because it's like reflecting off of it a little bit. So that's one coat. Um, I would say this is probably going to need two. So let's put that in the lamp and see if we need to do another coat for this one. Okay, so this is what one coat looks like on this. Um, it's not coming across too well, but it is a little streaky. So I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat of this here. And by keeping the layers nice and thin, you're going to prevent any bubbling or streaking or anything like that. So let's go ahead and put this back under the lamp. So this is after two coats, and that is completely solid color. This is such a pretty red. And then I also go ahead and write on the stick what the name, or in this case, the number is. And I do include the MO at the beginning so I can remember that it is a Model 1s. And this one is 0596. And I will move on to the next one. And I'm just going to let you guys go ahead and watch the process here.
So this one, you can definitely see that it is patchy after its first coat. So this one may end up needing three, maybe not. It is very pigmented and it reminds me of like a nice cinnamon brown. I'm definitely a fan of this color, definitely a fall color. So this is after two coats. It's still a little bit patchy, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a third coat for this one here. You could probably get away with just the two, but I'm gonna add the third just so I feel better about the coverage. So I have just been top coating all of these swatches with the Model 1's top coat. It is, or it is not, a no wipe top coat. So after it goes under the lamp, it does need to be wiped off with a little bit of alcohol. I just use some alcohol swabs that I have laying around to do that. And it just gets the tackiness off. And that way when they're rubbed off, they're nice and smooth to the touch. There's no tackiness. But here are all the swatches from this Halo Fall Kit from Model 1s. I do like all the colors that are here. The only one that sort of seems a little off to me is the blue for this set. I think I would have rather liked to see a more pumpkin orange, I guess, something in between the like orangey tan color and the cinnamon brown that we have. But I do like this cranberry red. I like the, I guess it's sort of like an orangey nude color, the cinnamon brown. We have this nice dusty rose and this olive colored green. I like all of them and I do like the blue. It's very pretty. I just think it's probably the standout color that maybe doesn't fit in the color story of this kit here, but they're all very pretty. As you saw, they were all two coat colors except for the brown where I went ahead and added a third, but it could have easily just been a two coat as well. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like comment, hit that subscribe button, all that fun stuff, and I will see you all next time. Bye!